Hello, and today I would like to talk about ember silk cloth and how you can get hold of it. As you can see on my server at the moment, not only is there not a lot of it, it's also quite a high price. I mean, 20 gold per item is absolutely massive. And if you look at that per stack, you're looking at 4,300 for a stack of 200, which is an amazingly high price. Now, this could be mainly to the fact that first aid is going as a profession in Battle for Azeroth. And so if people want the achievement um, for making bandages, which uses ember silk, they need to buy it and to make the bandages. And so there may be people buying it for that reason. It could also be a supply demand thing because you can use the ember silk to make hydrol expedition bags. And there's a couple of other bags as well you can make. So what I'm going to show you is a quick way to farm up ember silk. So if you're coming from Alliance, what you need to do is go to the Twilight Highlands and you want to go here to the Bastion of Twilight, which is just here on the map. So easy way to get there is probably to get a flight to maybe Loch Modan um, here, or you can literally fly it yourself, it's not actually that far. So we're going to go off and go over there. Now you can see it appearing here in the fog, just a, just in the distance. Now I've got my graphic settings on 5, so um, depending on what your settings are on, depends on how quickly you can see this or not. But it's unmistakable, it's an absolutely massive tower, and we're going to fly up to the top. So here we are at the dungeon entrance. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go inside and we're going to do the, just the first entrance way, collect up all the mobs there, um, loot and destroy all those, loot those, and they'll drop quite a lot of ember silk cloth. Now you could use something like a potion of treasure finding to um, increase your amount of drops, um, but I'm not going to do that in this first instance. I'm just going to try it raw as it is because um, the potion can be quite expensive and the other thing I've got on is the loot appraiser add-on so that's going to flag up anything um, that I loot that also might be valuable so let's go through and run through the dungeon so here we are there's a big concentration of mobs just right in the beginning here uh, you could use something like bear tartar to increase your uh, move rate but honestly, it's not that far. So whatever um, native movement speed um, abilities you have would be great. You can round them up in one go and just aggro them and then run round is one way. The other way is you could kill as you go. Depends on um, what you've got ability wise. But you're literally just on a round up. Everything from here. helps if you're not stunned and then whatever AOE attack you have then you can loot them all up so that was 50 ember silk cloth in one go and then back out the exit straight again so this is really really quick it doesn't take you long at all So going to run that again, just going to make sure I've got Loot Appraiser actually turned on. The session is running, so that's fine. We're going to reset the in instance. Actually, if we, uh, we can do that here. If you turn on here on the options, show reset instance button there. Close that down, open it back up have to do a slash reload to get that working. Now with the uh, loot appraiser on you can see there's a reset instance button now. Uh, you can right click and do reset all instances here but it's kind of more convenient it tells you how many you've got left as well in the hour so it's quite kind of quite handy to have that up. So I'm going to reset the instance and go straight back in 
I'm going to run this ten times. That ding means we've got a few things. We'll have a look at those in a bit. Item value is coming in at 1,845. According to um, the price region I've set for is um, region market average. So that was a kilt of trollish dreams. It's apparently worth two and a half thousand. So there we go, I've done all the instances, uh, we can close this down. It says I've got um, 6,582 worth of value from the looted greens and purples. And the main thing we've got is just under two stacks of ember silk cloth. So these are currently going for, that would be worth apparently 3,990 and that would be worth 3,910. So I'm going to pop those on the auction house and see how they sell. A lot of these smaller ones I'm probably going to vendor or disenchant. And the bigger ones that are worth a little bit more, I might put on the auction house and see if they sell. And then the junk I'll just vendor. So I'll head back to the auction house now. So with my ember silk, I can put it on raw as the stacks of 200. This is also the things I could make with my tailoring using that ember silk. There's a couple of things that are quite useful here. I've sold before, and that's the Otherworldly bag and the Hygel Expedition bag. These are currently telling me a profit of 5,800 and 1,000 for those. Um, Spiritman cows I've not sold before. Um, I haven't tried any of these vicious ones, um, I don't know if they would sell, but there's certainly opportunities here. I mean the sale rate on these isn't particularly great, so I'm not sure whether these figures would be actually accurate. But they're all other possibilities, mainly the vicious ember silk set. Um, but the ones I know I have sold before is the Hygel Expedition bag, because it is a 36 slot herb bag, which is good for gatherers. Um, I'm obviously overpriced here because my server says 6,600, whereas the region market average is 3,400. And that's based on my current cost of bolts of ember silk being marked down as 11 gold. So that figure isn't exactly accurate. Um, currently, though, because ember silk is in such short supply on my server and the price is particularly high, I'm going to try selling this raw first off. If it doesn't sell, then I'm going to make it into something else. So I hope you found that useful. It's a really easy way to get hold of Ember Silk. Uh, doesn't take long, only took me about 15 minutes just to run through that 10 times. Um, just go around that entrance. So I hope you found that useful. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and a comment. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like me to cover, um, I'd gladly look into it. 
Um, please do hit subscribe if you'd like to get more videos like this and you'd like to be notified that they come up. And until next time, happy gold making, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.